position even on my seat here where I sit. So, Honorable Speaker, that is what I wanted to say and appreciate them. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture. Order, member from Horoni. Order. Honorable Koyo. This is not part of Mohoroni constituents, is it? Thank you. Honorable Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture and Livestock, Honorable Linturi, welcome to Parliament. This is a place you are familiar with. You have been a member of this House. This afternoon you will answer questions listed by members to you. Be concise and precise in answering the questions. The primary questions, and I will be allowing one or two joy riders to each question uh, so that they can uh, be able to hold you to account on behalf of the executive as is required under the Constitution. First question is question 101 of 2023 by the member for Suba South, the Honorable Carole Omondi. Carole Omondi, go ahead. Thank you very much, uh, Right Honorable Speaker. Uh, I now have the pleasure to ask question number 101 of 2023. Could the Cabinet Secretary explain the measures in place to address the re-emergence of animal diseases that were put under control in the country, such as anthrax, East Coast fever, contagious bovine pleuronumonia and trypanosomiasis, and the policy measures to eradicate them. Could the Cabinet Secretary state the policy measures instituted to address the proliferation of unlicensed and unregulated animal medicines in the country? Could the Cabinet Secretary provide details on the plans the government has put in place towards the establishment of trypanosomiasis centers in Suba South and Suba North constituencies to control the Sesefly menace in the said sub counties? And could the Cabinet Secretary outline the measures that the Ministry has put in place towards distributing free livestock drugs and vaccines to farmers whose livestock have been greatly affected by the recurrence of the said diseases? And finally, could the Cabinet Secretary clarify whether the farmers around Roma National Park whose livestock have been affected by excessive flies are eligible for compensation by Kenya Wildlife Service. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Carolo Monde. Cabinet Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, uh, for this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, if you may allow me, uh, we are happy as a ministry to subject ourselves to the authority of this House, of the, represent <coughs> the representatives of the people of Kenya to answer matter questions or matters that, uh, that uh, regard uh, to our ministry. Mr. Speaker, I seek your indulgence, and if you may allow me, ask you to kindly, because there is supplementary information I'm waiting for from my office in regard to these particular questions that I'm able to do proper justice to it, that I start with any other question, so that by the time we are finishing with the others, I may be able to answer this question being the last question, because I wouldn't want to give my good friend, uh, Carol Leo Mondi, an answer that I don't feel is sufficient enough, because I have a very short time to interact with the answer. So Thank I'll seek you. Mr. But not, even if Carol wasn't your good friend, you have a duty to answer the question. <laughs> Uh, Caroli, you'll have to wait for much later. Next question, 154 of 2023. Member from Umias East, Peter Salasia. Why is it? Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, I have a question to ask uh, to the Cabinet Secretary. Uh, to outline the steps that the government is taking to support local companies to produce and supply uh, BT cotton seeds to, to farmers.